Hey there, Gabriel, and welcome back to my channel, y'all. Today, I'm back with another video. Um, first thing I want y'all to know, if you ain't subscribed and you watching this, what you doing? <laughs> just subscribe. Just It's just one little simple thing to do. Just subscribe. Okay, but today, this is the first installment of Talk To Me. break from telling y'all how to get fat and where to eat from and keep expanding your waistline i just want y'all to um i just want to like take a break from food because i don't want y'all to think dog this fat boy must really love food because y'all he do it just i don't want to seem too fat so and today with me is just she gonna help me um cover this topic with y'all she's probably gonna be the only person on this segment for talk to me and y'all go follow her links will be down in the description below make sure y'all follow her and y'all thank her for helping me with this video according to online surveys from birth until age five girls cost nearly four hundred dollars more than boys a year and that gap nearly doubles on um, from the ages 14 and 18. so justice in your personal opinion who do you think um what what gender do you think cost more just raising in general in general i have to say a little girl because you have to worry about menstrual cycles you have to worry about like little girls always have to like buy hair like are you talking about like just little girls or are a like raising a child 18 and under um like just which gender in general like oh yeah definitely like, little girls because you have to worry about cycles you have to worry about girls like even though people don't like to say it but like girls can get pregnant like your daughter, if your daughter get pregnant, she, the baby will be with you. Like it's different with dudes, cause it's like the baby's not there. Like they get to go home, they might come over and see the baby. They're like, okay, you know, stay a couple hours. When they go home, the baby's not there, unless you know in certain circumstances it changes. But normally, you know, the girl, the woman, she carries the baby, she keeps the baby. So it's just it's different. Yeah, I was raised in a house full of boys, five boys. And I know for a fact, my mom would have had a harder time raising us if we were girls. Cause imagine having to buy weed for five different children. Imagine having to get five people toenails did twenty dollars. Yeah. That's a hundred dollars for five people. So I feel like yeah, it just it's cost to be a woman. Cause and then you have to consider things that um they buy. Cause men just go get a haircut. You don't have to buy. You know, and men clothes are a little bit more expensive, but women have more like personal stuff yeah. and stuff they have to manage they don't have to manage like all men have to do is get up shower put on deodorant women have to do a lot of more stuff than we yeah. do because it's like even with like the high school we went to i know like most of y'all probably high schools were like ours but we used to have to pay 275 dollars our junior year just to go to prom and just imagine you have to buy the hair, nine out of ten you have two hundred, three hundred dollars. Then most people that install the hair, that's like another hundred some dollars. Then you have to buy a dress. Dudes, you just get most of them don't even buy tux. They'll rent a tux and they'll rent a car. And that's that's the mm -hmm. really the mm -hmm. most expensive part they really spend compared to a girl. Because the haircut costs only with twenty dollars, twenty twenty five dollars. And then shoes, but you go get fifty dollar pair of shoes. So the next thing we go answer, I feel like I feel like we answered. Um, does it cost more to be a girl or a boy? And then we cost we answered, does it cost more to raise a boy or a girl? Because obviously it's girls win this debate. Women in general, they just it costs more. They have to yeah. spend more on personal stuff. You know, mm -hmm. men don't got to do all that. And then even with childbirth as well. Well, yeah. Because it's like, some women die, like a lot, it doesn't happen often, but some women actually die from childbirth. That's why mm -hmm. it's like, men just, they definitely have the better. Yeah, and then women have, they just have more like, stuff going on with their body, so. Yeah, it's always changing, and developing, mm -hmm. you grow breasts, like men don't have to deal with all that. And so they have to, women, I feel like women, if not for clothes and shoes and hair and stuff like that, even just high general stuff, mm -hmm. it's the it just costs more to be a woman. I feel like that was okay. Now, who spends more? Women spend an average of 
average of $150 to $400 a month on clothing, women drop $55,000 on hair products and twice as much in weave, tracks, and extensions. Women also spend 70% more than men on clothing. So, yeah, I think we just pretty much say that women, I think they take a little bit more pride in their appearance because um, a man... If their hair not cut or if they feel insecure about their hair or something, they'll just throw on a cap, honestly. And then men don't always have to be dressed up to look presentable. Like, yeah. they can wear a collar, like a regular shirt like this, and some slacks, and they're considered dressed up. But I think it's different for women because they have, like, a different aspect and a different um, presence they're supposed to bring. Yeah, because, like, me, right now, y'all see my natural. I would not go out anywhere like this. I would not do that for this anywhere. But if I had like my proper wig in, I would definitely go somewhere. I would put on better clothes. I put my lashes. It's just different. Yeah. Cause I have to say, I would agree with this a hundred percent. But it's like girls do more than boys. Like they do too much. Yeah. Like a guy, you know, they'll do a regular haircut. Maybe they a regular tee, regular jean shoes and. They look good to us, but it's like we want to do way more than mm -hmm. that. We have to exceed more and than we expect. I feel like just in general, like women like to look at stuff and they just be like get happy when it comes to spending money anyway. Because yeah. men can go in, in the store, most men can go in the store and they just go in exactly what they're going in for and come out women. They have to look around, they have to pick this mm -hmm. up, pick that up. Oh, I want this up. <laughs> I feel like if men are not paying bills, they're not spending a lot of money mm -hmm. on nothing. And then I feel like not a lot of men, like when you're younger, you want a lot of the luxury and shoes and clothes. But I feel like the older you get, the less yeah, this stuff matters. Yeah, they get old. So if you're not taking care of, like if a man not taking care of their family or paying bills or something, I don't feel like they're going to spend too much money unless they got it like that. But yeah. I feel like women just splurge. They don't mind the splurge. I have my comment question. This is for you guys. We're going to answer it here too, but this is for you guys to take the debate kind of to the comments. Um, What have you seen to feel like a man or a woman spends more? Okay, so for me, I've seen, I've seen like Growing up, since like I said before, um, men don't have to do all that much, and it was five of us, and stuff was still a little bit more cheaper. And then I seen like my mom; she always have to have perfume, or have to have her hair together, have to have this little bit of clothes, that little bit of clothes. So I just feel like, and then my mom had more like products. Like if you walk in her room, she just has products lined on her counter. So it's like. I ain't have to do all that. We just put Vaseline in our hair, brush it out, brush your teeth, wash your face, out the door. So, yeah, I feel like I've seen I've seen this in action. I've seen where men don't have to buy. Cause, and then, honestly, I feel like men, um, they can get away with wearing, like, jeans or jogging pants or something like that. They do it. They we Well, we do it. We get away with wearing, like, the same jeans, same shirt oh, sometimes. Hey, <laughs> But people do, men do it, they, they'll put on some pants and then maybe two days later they'll wear the same pair of jeans where women, they're just a little bit more conscious about that. They like, no, I ain't finna put that on, I just had that on the other week. I'm and it could be like a month it. ago, but they won't put them on, but a man, they'll throw on some jeans that they had on last night and don't care. Don't look, what, they wear the same outfit. <laughs> I seen that done, <laughs> actually, y'all. I done seen that done. It was somebody that we know. I seen in Dawson homecoming that they had the same outfit on. <laughs> and did anybody say nothing? No. Nope. Because I feel like men just, it's just, they don't have the standard. They're not held to the standard like women are. Because yeah. if you see a girl in the same clothes, they could be like, oh, she dirty. And then you see a boy in the same clothes, you you probably won't say it like, you're that dirty. You might think it, but you know, you won't come in on her. You won't say it. it it'll be different if a man did it than a woman did it. Yeah. So, um, what did what have you seen to make you feel like um, women spend more or men spend more than women? Mm, women spend more. It's just in general because with myself, just the fact that I am a woman, I know I would spend my last on a frontal wig. <laughs> I would spend
spend my last on the install. I would spend my last on clothes. I really would. Like, if I only had four hundred dollars left, I would buy a wig and get my hair installed. <laughs> like that hoe would go do that. that. That's just how I am. And so it's just like, yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much. It's like women. Women just take more pride in their appearance. Yeah. That's all it is. Cause it's I'm a type, good thing. Cause I'm like the type. If it's something going on, I see event going on. Like my like like this, which I see now. If it, if I'm looking like this, I ain't going. <laughs> I would not go. I would not go. Like and that's just I wouldn't even necessarily say it's insecurities, cause that's what some people or some men, you know, might and don't say be that. coming for us in the comments either. <laughs> <laughs> but like some people might say it's insecurities, but it's just like that your like with, with some things that you do like it enhances your beauty. Like mm -hmm. some women that put on makeup every morning, like it's not necessarily they feel like they're ugly or unattractive without it. It's just that's something they love. That's something they love to wear. That's something you know. That's something they really like. So of course they're gonna do something they like, regardless of anybody's opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Overall, we <laughs> figured out women just they spend a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but it's more of like an appearance thing. I feel like because I feel like if they have a child, even you even with a child, women will take they take very they take a lot of pride in making their child look good. Yeah. So they'll spend a lot of money to make their child look good versus a man. He he'll be all right if his child got on a t-shirt and some yeah. jeans. No matter if it's a little boy, or a little girl, as long as they have looking DC. yellow. <laughs> yeah, a man don't care, but a woman they be like they want their child to be dressed up, yeah. even if they're not. So women just I think they're just a little bit more cautious about how they look and how the people around them look and um spending money. Some women not not all women. Some women are a little fruit frugal with money but I feel like in general women just have more to buy. Yeah, in general. Just have more stuff more maintenance things yeah. to buy that we need. This is not a want. Yeah. Cause whether without the hair and without the makeup, they still have more to buy. Yeah, it's like every month a woman has like for the ones that still do their with they have to buy like tampons or pads. Oh. You have to buy oh. every month. You have to buy it every month. Like it's normal. Oh. It's normal for and then like it's just in general. It's just a lot of stuff that women have to buy weekly, monthly. Yeah. And then don't we don't have to do that and then um, what I done learned, men, like all men have like that go-to set of underwear they wash they and do? they put on, yeah, <laughs> they have a go-to set of underwear, they don't have to, they don't have to have like their fancies underwear, some men, they like that, but yeah. uh, for the most part, a man don't care about, you know, they don't just, we just, we just don't care about all that, yeah. they just, we ain't got to do all that, but the girl, don't forget y'all, this, this is to keep the debate going, well, this is not a debate, it's just, to keep the discussion going yeah. in the comments, y'all y'all leave the answer down in the comments that you feel. Um, what what have you seen to feel like a man or a woman spends more? So tell us which one you feel like spends more, and then leave it in the comments. Tell us which one you think spend more, and tell us what you've seen so far to feel that way. So that concludes this um, episode of Talk to Me. Um, y'all can DM me. My links gonna be down and below. On um, y'all can DM me, y'all can DM Justice, Snap, whatever, and just tell us what y'all want me to talk about. Cause this is just open conversation for everybody, so it don't matter. So, but um, I'm gonna leave all my links down below. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and um, make sure you subscribe, and also make sure you subscribe. I hit a hundred yesterday, so I'm um, really happy. So I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna keep keep up my good work, y'all. Keep on supporting, keep on liking, keep on coming, and keep on subscribing. All right, y'all. That's that's it. That's it. We out.